I, I don't like uh, so much uh, um, travels. I, I, am, I am tired. <laughs> But I wanted to be here with you for two reasons. The first one is because uh, uh, we want to support Nanaimo community against insulin readers for alternatives. And, <laughs> local global, if you win in Nanaimo, you give more power to every community in the world. If you lose, you have, you have to be sad because uh, our power is less than before. So we need to unite all zero waste and the anti-incineration global movement to support your right battle against incinerator. Please win, win with our, our support. The second reason is because uh, I like to meet uh, friends like uh, Rick, like Neil, like Eric Lombardi, like many others dedicated since a long time um, with, uh, with no nothing than uh, passion to promote zero waste. It's a very pleasure for me to be part in Zero Waste International Alliance family. <laughs> My story is a winning story. I am a, a, an happy man because uh, when I started, we, uh, um, local government in my uh, Tuscan region wanted to build two incinerators in my province of Lucca. My municipality is Capannori, and the Capannori uh, um, had to be um, lo uh, location of uh, um, a new incinerators. Then uh, we started in 1995. Uh, and uh, organized a very strong movement. Um, uh, we had many, many uh, meetings, very small meetings, because we need to have an answer from population um, how to know uh, alternative, because we wanted to say not only no to incinerators, but yes to alternatives. So we need uh, community learn about alternatives. And it was a very, very important movement. And at the end, we won. We won a first time. We won a second time. We won six time because we defeated the six incinerators in uh, our province. In 2004, we started with a national network, Zero Waste, Italian uh, uh, network, and in 2007, Capannori, my municipality, 47,000 inhabitants, started for the first in Italy and maybe in Europe to promote at the formal level uh, Zero Waste goal. At the beginning, everybody was laughing around the Capannori, ha, ha, zero waste, zero waste, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> But in the second moment, in the second moment, Capannori became the first of uh, 220 Italian municipalities adopting zero waste goal. And now everybody look at, at the Capannori as a model. And uh, everybody in Capannori is proud to defeat incineration. If uh, they uh, uh, was able to build the incinerator, there, there was not a story, positive story for our community. And uh, now every door is opening to our message. Every, um, everybody in Italy now wants zero waste. Zero waste is fashion. It's not sad. It's fashion. It's trendy. And uh, we have to be very careful because too many friends at this moment. But we can win. We can win. 
we can win. And uh, at the moment, uh, I, uh, I don't like to speak when uh, I am speaking about the zero waste, about the details, about uh, waste management. I prefer to speak about the people, jobs, uh, education, opportunity, future, because uh, zero waste is a, a common sense revolution, is empowering community and zero waste without community is nothing and we need the grassroots movement and i am proud to be part of zero waste international alliance as well as in gaia global alliance against incinerators because we need community community are the hammer and the consultant scientist and the expert are the nail to, to fix zero waste program. We need democracy, a new democracy, the democracy of day by day, of simple citizens. I am a simple citizen. I am a, an activist, maybe a little expert, and I am elementary school teacher. And, but in my heart, first of all, I am an activist. As a, as expert, I, at the moment, I am the director of Zero Waste Research Center of my municipality, Capannori. A very low budget, 20,000 euros to work, volunteers work, but successful, very important, amazing results were um, obtained. But uh, uh, what's our task? Our task is uh, to watch what's remaining after 80% of source separation. This is the rate of uh, my municipality uh, of source separation. But we need to study the 20% remaining. Because as Paul Connett told you yesterday, Zero waste model wants to study what is remaining on the stomach of the, of the system. We want to, to give the feedback because we need to involve at this point EPR, Extended Producer Responsibility, because 70%, 75%, 80% is in charge for the community. Community solve at the back end level 80% of the problem, waste management problem. But please, 20%, 25% is in charge of a you producer. It's your problem. We want, we want you, we put in your hands what is remaining in these beans. This is the beans of a dozen, dirty dozen. We have uh, what uh, it's impossible to recover. Coffee capus, capsules, pasta, tooth, pasta, other coffee capsules. In, in Italy, everybody likes coffee. Blister. Present. You. <laughs> Stupid packaging. <laughs> Clean. <huh? laughs> no smoke, please. <laughs> Lavazza capsules. And uh, this morning, I was uh, agreed with uh, Paul Palmer when uh, he was speaking about uh, EPR, uh, saying that uh, uh, he was uh, tired of uh, the last uh, 40 years debate about uh, waste management. 
but I repeat, EPR without a community is nothing because it's community pushing to solve the problem. If we leave to the market the solution, no solution. We need democracy. <laughs> but uh, he was right when uh, he uh, uh, said that uh, recycling is not all. And I don't agree. I don't agree with 100% of total recycling. I don't agree. Because uh, this is toilet paper. It's coming from Tetra Pak, Tetra Pak beverage. It's uh, possible to recycle, to, is, to mine uh, mm, cellulosic uh, fibers. And uh, it's a solution because in my area, in Capanori area, there is the uh, industrial district more powerful in Europe. And uh, there is a paper mill recovering tetra uh, plastic uh, uh, apart and uh, cellulosic fibers to produce this kind of toilet paper. It's very nice, brown, brown, brown. <laughs> But it's not the solution. We need to go away from throw away society. This is our main goal. Zero waste is the bridge to come back from a throwaway society. It's a revolution, a revolution uh, that needs everybody of you, um, need uh, your skills, need uh, your passion. Without passion, nothing. We need the south of a passion and the north of expertise. But please, not only details. Not only passion, but not only details. We need vision. We need to be inspired. We need tenacity. Tenacity. We need to be positive because we are working for everybody. Zero waste uh, is a play in which or we win all together or we lose all together. It's uh, maybe a new revolution, a new meaning of uh, democracy. And uh, from the bin, we need to, to mine meaning. Everybody touch waste and everybody touching waste can have another vision. Zero waste is the ship going toward a new society. Thank you.